So my clean garage has become not so clean, mostly because it's summer and I'm pulling the top off the Jeep, but also underneath this blanket here, I've got a new rooftop tent. Yeah, I know I have another tent up there, but this one has a hard shell. It's only two person, it's a little bit smaller, but it's white, it's gonna match the Gladiator, so I'm stoked about that. There is one challenge, however, and that is that the mounting bars on this tent versus that tent are narrower, therefore it doesn't hook into my rack here, into these holes, so I've gotta build some crossbars. So I've got some metal to do that. So that's what we're gonna to do today. And hopefully, after I do that, it'll allow me to get all this stuff back off the floor and I can reclaim my space back there. I do realize, however, once I get this tent off the ground, that I'll still have the roof on the ground as well. I like to get another hoist set up for that specifically, but it's so nice out, I'm not ready to put it back on. So we'll have to deal with that another day. I'm gonna cut this right at four feet. This piece of steel is a three by one and it's a 120 wall thickness. I'm just gonna use the abrasive disc to cut it down. So that abrasive saw does just not do a good job of even cuts. Which means I'm going to clean these up on the disc sander. However, I got all this crap in the way. Which is another reason why I need to keep your garage clean. Just case in point, I can't do anything or finish this project when it's like this. I know a lot of us guys struggle with this situation and that's why our projects are never done. Because we're not organized and we're not ready to actually do a project. Even as something small as this project I'm doing now, it's just taking way longer than it should because of this. See, now I'm just out of breath, but move this over here, and then I'm gonna have to move it back, just like the cat in the hat stain. So I need to learn from my own lessons and stay organized. Now we can get to this, so I'm gonna straighten up those pieces of tube. measured out and the holes that I want. So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole and then I'm gonna finish it with a half inch. Now I just need to repeat that three more times. Well, I've got these holes drilled. Pretty lined up. Uh, I don't have the right bolts that I want. I want to get a little bit better bolt and probably a grade eight bolt. And then also I need to pick up some matte black uh, paint since I'm out. So I'm gonna do that and then I can finish this up and get the tent on. Well, it's been a few days since I drilled the holes into the bars that I'm gonna use for the rooftop tent and you know just life's got in the way freaking corporate life's killing me man but anyway I picked up this little welder and I'm not a welder I don't know what I'm doing but and this is just a cheap little one but I'm gonna give it a go and see if we can put some caps on the rails give it a little more finished look and then I can after I get those welded on grind them smooth and then I can throw some paint on it so I gotta spend a little time here figuring out how this thing works this is a little multi-process unit and it's kind of cool. It, it is a 220 machine. So we'll do 220 or 110. It will do MIG both shielded and flux core. 
it will do TIG, lift TIG, and it will also do stick. And so I don't have a bottle or anything and I didn't get the TIG gun, so I'm just going to run some flux core. It gives, gives you a, a box of solid wire and a box of flux. Some consumables, different tips, different rollers for your tensioner to fit the wire. It even comes with the adapter if you want to run the 110. Let's see. Oh, here's the stick lead. Or it comes with the gas line. And then uh, here's the ground. So I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out. Never used this plug, so we'll see. It's not even going to work. Damn it. Well, I already ran into the first issue, which is this plug doesn't fit in my 50 amp socket. So I need to get an adapter, so that's going to set me back a little bit from going 220, but I can go 110. Only problem right now is I only have like a 15 amp breaker on this wall, rather it be a 20, but all I'm going to do right now is just uh, feed the wire in, so it should be fine. Okay, I think I figured it out, so let's take the wire through here. Adjust your tension and make sure you have the right piece there. Kind of adjust the tension on here. And then you can hit the feed button. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, but figuring it out. So you guys are probably you know roast me in the comments when you know what when you know what I'm doing wrong, but there, came out. It's one millimeter. Clean that off. Oh, there we go. Sweet. I guess you don't even, since we're running flux, you don't even have to run this tip. This is like a shielded gas tip. Put in my ground here on the negative. All right, I think I got this welder set up. I've got a piece cut here. I put a little bevel in it and uh, got these little magnets here. And we'll see if we can fill this in, make it whole. Not gonna need to be super structural. I just want it to look decent. So put these bevels in here so I can lay down some weld in there. Spread some anti spatter since I'm running flux. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I've got one of them done so far. Gotta do a lot of grinding since my welds suck, but I think they look pretty decent. I've got caps on both the ends of this. And I need to cut out two more sides to do that other one. My welds are getting better, so they still look like shit, but anyway, this is my last one over here, so they're looking better. I'm wearing down and it's hot out here. I'm ready to jump in the pool, but I've got all these done. So I got all these boxed in on each side, got them ground smooth. And uh, I think they're going to be good enough for me for paint. I went to the pool to cool off. I got so burnt. That was actually from earlier, but I didn't notice it because I was welding and stuff. So anyway, I got these things painted. I think they're dry enough, so I'm going to slam them on. Sorry about the wind. It's kind of kind of getting nasty outside, so I'm going to throw these up, and then maybe I can put the tent on tonight. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I couldn't see outside, but I want to put a little bit more paint on the sides. I'm going to do that. Dry already. It's not the right size. Uh, you told me it's 10. Probably, it's probably, here's probably a 13, but dang it. Liar! But the tolerance is pretty tight side to side, so I just need to adjust it. So it's just centered in those two holes. That. Ah. 